Well, I guess if you really wanted to turn your arteries into stone or calcify them, it's a real simple way of doing it. Just don't get adequate levels of potassium. You'll understand more why in a second. First, let's look at this chart. All right, I should say chart and pictures and so on and so forth. Bar chart pay attention more to if you don't understand obviously what the photos are. And keep in mind from basic chemistry standpoint, you see the letter K. K stands for potassium on right, your periodic table. So to proceed, look at the bar chart. All right, especially pay attention to B and C in particular because they're the most um, spectacular, so to say. All right, look at it. Look at your calcification there. See the low K, low potassium. Look at the levels of calcification of the arteries. All right, now, however, look how low the calcification is in regard to high potassium levels. And again, this was an animal model, not a human model, so it's preliminary, and they have to see if this correlates, obviously, or shows a causative relationship with human studies. But to proceed forward, that is pretty dramatic. So keep that in mind. Look at that difference between low potassium and high potassium, and B and C in particular, in regard to the calcification of the arteries themselves, vascular system, or whatever, or aortic stiffness, or however you want to name it. But to proceed with the public citation title to give you a bit, little better understanding of what exactly is going on and also the amazing part of how not getting adequate levels of potassium results in literally your vascular system uh, mistaking or getting the wrong cues and producing bone cells. To proceed, all right, I need for bananas. There's lots of good sources of potassium. I know there's much better sources of potassium than bananas, but that's the title of the public release. I need for bananas, dietary potassium regulates calcification of arteries. Researchers have shown for the first time that reduced dietary potassium promotes elevated aortic stiffness in a mouse model. Such arterial stiffness in humans is predictive of heart disease and death from heart disease, and it represents an important health problem for the nation. The researchers also found that increased dietary potassium levels lessened vascular calcification and aortic stiffness. Furthermore, they unraveled the molecular mechanism underlying the effects of how low or high dietary potassium, of high dietary potassium. All right, let's move forward. This is how they hypothesize potassium either causes calcification or results in calcification, I apologize, or helps alleviate calcification. To proceed with that hypothesis, in cell culture, low potassium levels in culture media markedly enhance calcification of vascular smooth muscle cells. Previous research by several labs, including Chen's group, the researcher, has shown that calcification of vascular smooth muscle cells resembles the differentiation of bone cells, which leads to the transformation of smooth muscle cells into bone-like cells. And you thought it was just cholesterol and calcification. Low potassium, biggie. And to go a little further. So the UAB researchers tested the effect of growing vascular smooth muscle cells in low potassium cell culture. They found that the low potassium conditions promoted the expression of several gene markers that are hallmarks of bone cells, but decreased the expression of vascular smooth muscle cell markers, suggesting the transformation of the vascular smooth muscle cells into bone-like cells under low potassium conditions. With that in mind, study parameters. The citation title as follows, dietary potassium regulates vascular calcification and arterial stiffness. Study participants, obviously it was an animal model. Study length, I won't go into the whole thing, but if you look in the middle section there that's kind of highlighted, that gives you the potassium intake based upon the weight of the food or kilocalorie uh, content of the food itself. So you notice it's better than 0.3%, 0.7%, 2.1%. Keep in mind, this does not translate easily to humans. However, I have done a few videos in regard to what may be the optimal levels of potassium hypothesized by other researchers, which I will link in either YouTube, Vimeo, or wherever uh, we post these videos. All right, as follows. The study length, as you can see, was 30 weeks. Results. This is the excerpt basically just from the abstract. It's a little technical, but you get the picture. When researchers looked at arterial cross sections in cultures that were exposed to three different concentrations, obviously low, medium, and high, of uh, potassium based on normal physiological levels of potassium in the blood, they found a direct effect for the potassium, direct effect. So they're trying to say in a certain uh, language, causative. 
on arterial calcification within arterial rings. Remember the pictures? Arterial rings in low potassium had markedly enhanced calcification, while high potassium inhibited aortic calcification. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave you, uh, basically it's the, the abstract right there, but I also wanted to leave part was uh, in the supplemental information of the electrolyte breakdown between the low, medium, and high potassium levels just for the researchers out there itself. So in short, if your potassium levels are inadequate in a large portion of the U.S. per se has inadequate levels of potassium, you run the risk of the body uh, converting smooth muscle cells, or I should say smooth cells in the veins and the arteries per se, into literally bone-like cells, which sounds kind of creepy. So easier, just look at your adequate levels of potassium, what's required for you, work with a medical professional, and try to keep potassium levels up to par. Again, I'm Ralph Church Channel signing off. Again, I'll link the other videos too that I mentioned before. And I hope you find this information of use. And as always, thank you very much for listening. And I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.